Hey, what's up everybody? Holmes here and welcome back to more Dark Souls 2 Boss Guides. Today we're taking on Sir Alon from the Lost Crown of the Iron King DLC and let me just say that this guy reminds me a lot of Autorius from Dark Souls 1. That attack, the dashing attack, later on we'll have a jumping attack. Oh my god, he just reminds me a lot of Autorius right? and especially the Sir Autorius. Sir Alon. And note that you guys are having trouble with that. Can someone in NPC for help on this boss fight? But I am not gonna. This is an honorable swordsman fight right here. Katana versus Katana. That's right. And uh, uh, I would recommend you guys have a lot of a lot of agility for this fight because you're gonna need it. You need a lot of mobility and agility. And if you're doing some fat ass dodges, fat ass rolls, it's not gonna. He's gonna, he's gonna wipe you out. So yeah, you wanna be quick on this guy. He's really, really um, I can't stress about how good. But yeah, let's get into his attack patterns and once to get his damage in, right? So he has a two-hit attack, he has swing and he jumps back and then he does a stabbing attack. You can get a damage you can get one hit in after he does a stabbing attack and you're close enough. The best time to get some damage in is after he does that push. So he swings and then he jumps back. He also has a forward hit uh, swing. One, two, and then like he swings it again. And then he has a little bit of a delay. Most of the time he does like, two hit combos. Sometimes he'll link it up to three, and sometimes he'll link it up to four. It's kind of random. And sometimes he'll link it up to one hit. Yeah, this guy is kind of ridiculous. And when he does that jumping attack, he only performs the jumping attack after you drop his HP down to half. So you drop his HP down to 50%. Start doing that jumping attack. You can dodge all his attack. All his attacks by doing a diagonal right dodge. Okay? So, best way to do this guy is to dodge. That's the best way to do this And he got me there because now he's going to do the right dodge. Okay? Boom! It stabs me. So after his, his two hit combos, he gets some attacks in. And after his rushing attack, he gets some attacks in. And after his jumping attack, he gets some attacks in, okay? Two hits, it's, it's okay. One hit, you're playing against sleep, and you're doing one hit, you're playing against sleep. Two hits, you're okay. Three hits, you're pushing the left down. And. As you guys saw there, like his sword turned black and he's kind of stabbing with it. Now, note that if I got hit by that attack, me, okay, if I got hit by that attack, I would die instantly. I don't know if. Well, I know because my HP is low and I'm like under level for this fight because I'm level 150 on engine plus plus. So, for those of you guys that have been leveling up, this fight should be a lot easier. For those of you guys that cap yourself also, this fight might provide a bit of a challenge. So yeah, uh, and that's why it'll instant kill me. Even if I have armor on, it'll still kill The reason why I don't have armor on is because I want that to So that's why I'm fighting this guy without armor on. Just in case somebody has going to go like, Hey Holmes, why are you fighting, all why are you fighting this boss without armor? Because I got a lot of attack damage and I know that and yeah, just wanted to throw that out there in case anyone can ask me. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for someone. Sorry man. I'm so sorry. I don't want to kill you, but do it. But yeah. Yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for him. And I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful. And join me next time when we take on more Dark Souls 2 The Lost Crown of the Iron King DLC. Alright, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Holmes, out.